I found out about Larson Motorsports um, at a racetrack. I was at Gainesville Raceway for the Gator Nationals. We had our juniors um, out there on display and we saw the Larson cars. We actually met because Tony Schumacher, um, we were talking to him and he said, hey, do you want to drive one of those? And I'm like, heck yeah, I want to drive a jet car. I don't even know what it is, but I want to drive it. <laughs> he introduced me to Lane and I found out that they were only about an hour and a half from where I was going to school at the time. So I just started driving over to the shop and been coming back for a while. Why did I want to do a degree in biomedical sciences? Well, I wanted to be a doctor. Um, I wanted to be a doctor because I wanted to make lots of money so that I could go racing. <laughs> I didn't want to do it anymore. I just didn't know how to get into motorsports. And then I met the Larsons and they kind of introduced me to this whole new world of how to get involved with racing. An, a position opened up with Larson Motorsports and I was going to pursue it at all costs. <laughs> and so I did. And luckily I got the job and I packed up my whole life and moved on a dream <laughs> like most people do, right? And went for it. So that's why I'm here and doing it now. <laughs> Goodness, I've been in the racing industry for over two decades, but specifically been driving jet cars for over 18 years now. There was never a plan for me to race a jet car, but what we did was is we combined the husband's passion. So he grew up in the aerospace and the aviation industry. And then when I found my home at the racetrack, I love drag racing. So we kind of paired our two passions together, his for airplanes and mine for racing, and we built a jet car. Um, there was never a plan for me to be the one in the driver's seat. He was just the one who said, hey babe, hop in. And I did and never looked back. Wow, so what do I do for Larson Motorsports? What don't I do for Larson Motorsports? Uh, really anything and everything from the business side, the marketing side, lots of promotional videos, um, lots of videos. Uh, and I'm Elaine's assistant, so anything she needs help with, really every day is different. You're never gonna have the same two days. Uh, so anything that I have to do, it gets done. You know, I get a lot of people that walk up to me and ask, you know, what does it take to be a driver? Or, I want to drive a race car. And I tell people, you have to have a lot of chutzpah. You have to have that passion. You have to have that fire in the belly. Because believe it or not, actually going down the track is only 2% of my job as a race car driver. The rest of it is doing social media, marketing, sponsor engagements, outreach. There's so much more to it than just wanting to go fast. So the licensing process here at Larson Motorsports starts in the classroom. Um, you learn how to go through an entire jet car um, inside and out and how they work, um, how to work on them. You Really, it's a crew chiefing driver class. So you become a crew chief by book first. Um, and then you start sitting in the car. So you'll, Elaine will bring you over and put you in the car and it won't be on yet. Um, and you'll just practice with the buttons and with the feet pedals um, and just start going through the motions. And then we roll them out into the parking lot and out there we, this is where the action really starts to happen. Um, so we get to start up the cars and then once you, everything's progressional. Um, so once you show that you're able to do succeed and excel at one thing you get to move on to the next so you'll start it in a couple times in the parking lot before you get to go to the racetrack um, and then once you're at the racetrack everything is still progressional so you will use no afterburner at first um, just trying to get the staging process down and knowing where you're at on the track um, so you'll start at the 60 foot, then you'll go to the 330, then you'll go to the eighth mile, then you'll go to the thousand foot, then you'll go to the quarter mile, um, all of that with no afterburner. And then you go into the afterburner stage and that is a lot different. Um, you definitely feel um, the afterburner for sure. You feel the power, you feel the hit. Um, yeah, so right now I'm I've gone to the eighth mile in Burner, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> you know, I sit here and I look at these girls 
putting these helmets on and I've trained so many girls. I mean, my first one was uh, little Marisha Falk. Um, she was a, a pilot. She's only five foot tall. Um, she's a little spitfire. And I remember the first time she hopped in one of my cars, I was so nervous because not only did I have, you know, my responsibility to her, she's someone's daughter. She's someone's sister. I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. And I kind of had this connection with her. Like she was my little baby sister, like, like she could have been my child. Um, but then I had to get over that because I can't live their life for them. They have to hop in the driver's seat. They have to know, they have to want it more than anything else. And when I looked at Marisha and when I look at all these next generation of female racers or engineers or crew chiefs, I know that they want it more than anything else. And I know that nothing is going to stand in their way, not even Elaine Larson. So every time I do a new step, um, in the car, I have great anxiety <laughs> that I'm going to fail. Um, literally to the point, my anxiety is so bad that I didn't eat the whole first day. Um, well, actually I did eat. I didn't eat after the nerves set in that we were really heading to the racetrack and I was really gonna get in the car and I was really gonna take it down the track. It's not about fear. It's about failing. It's about not doing good. Um, I wasn't scared, I just, I'm scared of messing up. <laughs> I think what I'm most excited about watching Josette grow and progress as a race car driver is how she grows and progresses as a woman. I mean, you know, a lot of times, uh, you know, I want to see herself push herself a little farther. I want to see herself uh, move, do things a little bit more because right now we've only seen a very small potential in Little Miss Josette Roach. Um, I'm excited to see where this whole uh, period in her life is going to take her. I'm excited to see how much confidence she can build in herself, and I'm excited for her to uh, make her life just start happening right now. So throughout my journey, I guess you could call it, I've always had the greatest support system. Of course, my mom and dad, um, my brother and my sister, and the rest of my family, and some other people that have always supported me. Um, since coming here are obviously the Larsons. Um, they've supported me and helped guide me um, through whatever my path is as I'm finding it on my journey. Um, also the people that work here, they've been really supportive of everything. And Logan, my uh, crew chief, she's been a huge support going through this um, journey with me because she's becoming a crew chief and then I'm becoming her driver, so we have like a little system down and everything like that. So it's been super cool um, going through this with her. And then of course, my boyfriend, Josh, has been su a huge support. Um, he's been backing me, I guess, ever since we started dating. Um, just really the craziest thing of this whole thing is every pass I've ever made down the drag strip, my dad has been standing by me. No, I don't want to talk about this. Damn it. So one of the hardest parts about going through this process has been that my dad has literally stood by my side through every pass that I've ever made down a drag strip. So going to the track the first time was really hard um, because he wasn't there. And there's just like a sense of security, I guess, with after my burnout and stuff, you know, I'd give him a little thumbs up and he would give me a thumbs up and then he'd send me on my way down the track. Um, so it's had some getting used to not having him there just as, I guess, making sure everything looks good. But this team has got my back. Um, so having them there, you know, still giving me the little thumbs up, it's, it's been a change, but a good change because now I can trust other people too. I don't need just my dad there giving me a thumbs up. So in my opinion, um, racing as a whole is inclusive to women being in the industry. Um, but here at Larson Motorsports, we are definitely way more inclusive and inviting for women, male, female. Um, it doesn't matter your background. It doesn't matter what gender you are. It doesn't matter where you came from. Um, we include everybody. Um, it's 
very female led and female power around here, but we still include the guys. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite thing is girl power. Um, I love girl power. I love seeing these young girls walking up to me thinking that, uh, you know, they're not afraid to ask me a question. They're not afraid to ask me to come to the shop. Um, I think it was because when I was growing up, my dad led me to believe that I could do and be anything. With hard work and dedication, you can pretty much move mountains. And it's been true, you know. Life has not always been easy. Um, you know, there's been these guys that will all walk up to a racetrack promoter and stuff like that. They're going, hey, little lady, where's your husband? You know what I mean? And it's, it's, it's hard because I'm thinking, wait a minute. I'm the president, I'm the one who did this, you know, and, and I don't necessarily, I, I like being a wife and I like being, you know, supporting my husband, but I also like being a team owner. I also like leading the charge. And um, I think it's important for women to take the reins and also to be able to delegate and hand that power off to the next generation of young girl, girls when they see the opportunity is out there. Um, I think it's a very important thing right now, especially with all of the opportunities that are available. We have a young girl in our shop, Lauren Ann, and she wants to be the next astronaut. And I'm thinking, why not? Um, I have another girl, Logan Ashline. She's like, okay, I'm gonna be in the driver's seat soon, so get it warmed up, Josette, because I'm coming in right after you. And I think that that is awesome, that we create such an environment at Larson Motorsports that allows people to dream, allows people to think bigger than inside the box, that allows people to get outside of that box and just let it happen. So my ultimate goal short term for getting this license um, is ultimately just to be able to perfect the craft of driving the jet car. Um, long term will be hopefully one day being a full-time driver for Larson Motorsports. <laughs>